Hey everybody, my name is Ben and today's question is, why do we measure time the way we do? At the first glance, it, it, it seems like it's a, a sensible thing until we start delving into it. So let's start with a day. What is a day? A day is just the amount of time that it takes our globe to make a full rotation on its axis. Simple, right? But then we divide a day into 24 parts for some reason. And then uh, of those 24 hours, we uh, measure those in 60 minute increments for some reason. And then we get down to a minute, we measure that in terms of seconds. Again, a collection of 60 for some reason. But when we get to seconds, we measure those in the most popular numerical system today, the decimal system. So we talk in terms of a hundredth of a second or a millionth of a second. But why? Like how do we even start measuring days and dividing them this way? The Babylonians were measuring time in what's called a sexagesimal system as opposed to a decimal system, base 60 instead of base 10. So earlier we said that the decimal system is the most popular and it makes sense, right? Because the vast majority of human beings have 10 fingers. It's very easy for the human species to count to 10. So why would you use something that relies on 60? Or why would you use something that relies on 12? When we look at the Babylonian system, uh, it, it actually, it makes some sense. There's some method to the ancient madness. Here's why. If we use the, uh, the base 10 idea in 10 to 100, the notation that we would have to make to measure a specific time of day would become ridiculous very quickly and complicated as well. Uh, the thing is that 60 has some advantages because 60, if you just break it down is, you know, essentially five times 12, then it has both the advantages of 10 and 12 as a system. So that is why it, it makes sense for us to use 60 seconds and, and 60 minutes. Uh, but the big explanation that no one's figured out yet is how this spread around the world. Did it happen because it was an accident of history? Did it happen because it really is the most efficient way that human beings have figured out to measure time? And one last thing, we're all familiar with AM and PM, right? Uh, AM stands for anti-meridium and PM stands for post-meridium. These are terms that came about during the Roman era when they used to divide the entire day into two things, just AM and PM. And this was so important, in fact, that they used to have these people who, whose only job was to wait until the sun crossed over so they could run to the forum and say, okay, it's, it's noon, it's officially PM. And that's because lawyers were required to show up by noon. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed this video. We hope that you check out some of our other videos here. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And I have a question for you. If you could institute a new time system, what would it be? Believe it or not, people have tried before, but that's sort of a story for another day.